Have you ever felt powerless and unsure about your future plans? Remember, a life without a purpose is like hard work without results. Get inspired in today's message by William Ngabo. Hey, it's William again, coming to you with a very inspiring message that is going to change your life. Actually, it's going to edify you. So today, I'm, uh, I'm going to speak on a subject, medicine for anger. Let's dive into the scripture. What does the Bible say about anger? The Bible says Proverbs 15.1, NIV translation, a gentle answer turns away wrath, but a harsh word stirs up anger. I have lived for a long time to see many things happen in different communities where I live. The reason there are so many conflicts in the villages and in the cities, even at different places of work, even in the church, you know, everywhere in the marketplace, most conflicts come about when someone has failed to control his anger or somebody has failed to control the words that come out of his or her mouth. Because harsh words, the Bible says, steers up anger. You know, somebody may be angry. An angry person expects some words that are so soft to soften the anger. Once an angry man meets harsh words, the two will create a volcanic mountain. Harsh word plus anger. The two will explode. So, there is a quick medicine you need every time you find yourself in a conflict. And it's a simple medicine that will change your life. Everywhere you will go is a gentle answer. Every time you find yourself in a conflict, either they have offended you or you have offended someone, the best thing you have to do is to come to the person with a soft voice. Tell this person, I'm sorry, even when he or she is the one to tell you I'm sorry. Because the moment you say, I'm sorry, it's a soft voice that attracts the attention of the person. It's a soft voice that softens the heart. Glory to God. Soft voice softens the heart. Harsh word steers up anger. It's like when you are cooking. You are cooking or you have a hot plate and you put oil. Once you put oil, you boil oil and then you put water. You stir up the steam. You know, there, there will be explosion. In the same way, once somebody is boiling with anger and you come to him or her with a harsh word, then the anger will triple. And that triple anger will cause an explosion. That's why somebody will kill the other. That's why we have so many cases of maybe uh, uh, domestic violence. Domestic violence come in our communities because someone has failed to control his anger. But the simple medicine to anger is to come with a soft voice that speaks good words like, I am sorry. It's a simple statement that millions of people across the world have failed to speak out from the heart. I'm sorry is a simple statement, very soft statement, that even world leaders will never tell their friends. It's a soft statement that even pastors have failed to utter. Because once you come with such a soft statement, glory to God, and you tell somebody who is boiling in anger and you say, I'm sorry, 
then anger fades away. Anger fades away. So, there is a medicine for anger that is current deep inside of you. Are you in a conflict with your children? Are you in a conflict with your spouse? Are you in a conflict with your neighbor? Are you in a conflict with your church member? With a church friend? Are you in a conflict at your place of work? There is an answer that can come out of your mouth even when you are not supposed to speak out to that answer but speak it out for the sake of calming down the anger. It's a simple statement that comes in a soft voice and the statement says, I'm sorry. That and only that is a medicine for anger. Once you speak it out, you bring peace in your family, you bring peace in your community, most importantly, you bring peace in your country because we've been called to be peacemakers. Don't go on the street demonstrating like we see on TV. Burning houses, burning cars, killing people. God has called us to be peacemakers, not demonstrators, not people who stir up anger. Medicine for anger is deep inside of your heart. God bless you. In all you are getting, get understanding.